sort of truth. Bible man is on the move. The sword of the spirit is the word of God. There's nothing it can't do. Bible man, Bible man, fighting the good fight, wearing the breastplate of righteousness and the helmet of salvation. The Bible girl, cipher and melody, fighting for the way. of Bible Man. Say goodbye to the Grand Duchess of Greed, part two, an adventure of generosity. Matthew 6, verse 3 to 4 says, But when you give to the poor, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret, and your Father, who sees in secret, will reward you. Previously on Bible Man, the animated series. Welcome to Designer D. We were wondering if you'd like to offer a donation to help people in need. Let's just see who leaves here with whose money today. I don't just want this case, Beth. I need this case. You're not thinking of spending the money you pledged to the fundraiser, are you? So what if I made a pledge? You break promises all the time. It's my money, and you can't tell me what to do with it. This is what I pledged to donate to the fundraiser today. Pretty girl like you needs pretty things. Looks like a threat level 7.4. Location? Designer delights on 2nd Avenue. To the Bible van. Thanks again. Bye now. And that, my dear Lulu, is why they call me the Grand Duchess of Green. <laughs> <laughs> startled me. Say, you're that Bible man fella everyone's always talking about, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. This is my team. Bible Girl, Cypher, and Melody. Very nice to meet you all. Is there something I can help you with? Are you the owner of this shop? Why, yes, I am. We're not what you would call a high-volume store, but we do specialize in smaller, unique designer items. Our sensors picked up enemy activity from this location. Have you noticed anything unusual this morning? Enemy activity? I'm not really even sure what that means, but no. I haven't noticed anything out of the ordinary. Do you mind if we have a quick look around, just to be sure? No, of course not. Better safe than sorry, I always say. And if you see anything you like, I will give you all a very special discount price. It's not every day I get actual celebrities in my store. That won't be necessary, ma'am. Thank you very much for your time, and please accept our apologies for this inconvenience. Oh, no apology required. Anything I can do to help. Have a good day, uh, Miss Reed. Goodbye now. Hope you find what you're looking for. It seems Bible Man's reputation is well deserved. That was close. Too close. Well, that was a little embarrassing. At least she was really nice about it. The sensors have never been wrong before. This is the exact location of activity the map pointed us to. Nevertheless, we need to be certain the sensors aren't malfunctioning. There's too much at stake. Cypher, you know the sensors better than anyone. Take the Bible van back to HQ and run a deep level system diagnostic on the sensors. We need to find out what went wrong here. Sure thing, Bible man, but the sensors will be down for nearly half an hour until the diagnostic completes. Yes, I know. Without reliable threat sensors, we might as well be running blind. What are we gonna do in the meanwhile? We're only a block away from Riverside Church. Maybe we could head over and see if they need any help setting up for the fundraiser? There you are. I've been looking all over for you. Why'd you leave so early this morning without me? I couldn't sleep, and you were still snoring. I do not snore. What's wrong with snoring? Bible Girl snores all the time. Melody, I, I can't believe you're really here. We were in the area ahead of schedule, so we thought we'd stop by and lend a hand preparing for the fundraiser. Of course, we'd love for you to help. Sounds good. Where do we start? Wait, before you do, can I get a picture with you guys, please?
Wow, what a beautiful phone case. Can I see it? Sure, I just got it today. It sure is pretty. Looks expensive, though. Yeah, Lila. Why don't you tell them how expensive? And while you're at it, why don't you tell them exactly where you got the money to pay for it? I already told you, Beth. It's my money. I earned it, and I could do whatever I want with it. So that's why you snuck out early this morning. Now it all makes sense. Whatever, Beth. You're just jealous because, for once, I have something nicer than you. Lila, wait. I just want to be alone right now. Ugh, let her cool off. We can't help her if we don't know what happened. Beth, care to explain what's going on between you and your sister? Who does she think she is? Telling me what to do with my money? I'll show her. Welcome, Lala. I've been expecting you. And then that's when you guys showed up and you saw what happened. Something's not right with her. She's not usually like this. Maybe you can get through to her melody. She thinks you're the coolest. Hmm. Seems like there's more to this designer delight store than meets the eye. There was no one there except that sweet old lady. Melody, what's that pink residue on your gloves? Oh, I didn't even notice. I didn't touch anything. Wait, maybe it came from Lila's ruby case when I held it. The ruby case? Of course. I saw the same pink residue on the counter when we were at the shop. I'll go get Lila. Cypher, this is Bible Man. Do you copy? Go ahead, Bible Man. Where are we with those sensors? The diagnostic came back with zero errors. Sensors are operating at 100%. Lila's not upstairs. I can't find her. Sensors just picked up another threat. And Bible Man, you're not going to believe the location. Something tells me I already know. And here you are, my dear. Uh, Bible man, I, I back so... Uh, you back so soon. I see you know our friend Lila. Oh, yes. Such a lovely young girl and a loyal customer of ours. Yes, I can see that. Your sister Beth told us about the money you pledged to the fundraiser. So? I changed my mind. It's my money. Yes, that is true. But you know... In Luke chapter 6, Jesus said, <gasps> Is something wrong, ma'am? No, uh, no, just a little <laughs> hiccup is all, excuse me. Give, and it will be given to you. For with the measure you use, it will be measured back to you. You really don't look well, ma'am. Should we call a doctor? That won't be necessary. Mm, indigestion happens a lot. Melody, prep the lesson on generosity for projection. Lesson? What lesson? Oh, it's just a quick Bible story about how our generosity is pleasing to the Lord. Generosity? Yes, you're welcome to join us, unless you have a problem with that. Problem? No, no, of course not. I'd be de delighted to. The story of Elijah and the widow teaches us about generosity. The Lord had struck the land with famine, and no rain fell for a long time. When the water dried up, the Lord told Elijah to go to a town called Zarephath, where he had commanded a widow to provide for him. So Elijah got up and went to Zarephath. When he arrived at the city gate, there was a widow gathering wood. Elijah asked her for a little water, and then he also asked her for a piece of bread. But the widow was very poor. She told Elijah she did not have any bread, and she only had a handful of flour and a little oil left to make bread for her and her son. Elijah told her not to be afraid and to make him a loaf first. Then the Lord will bless her by not letting her jar of flour and jug of oil run empty. So the widow did as Elijah asked and brought him a small loaf first. Then the woman, Elijah, and her household ate for many days. The flour jar did not become empty, and the oil jug did not run dry. The Bible teaches us to be generous like the widow. Because of her great faith and trust in God, she was willing to put Elijah first, even before herself and her son, when she knew she did not have enough flour and oil. Wow, I can't believe I was so selfish. There are people who need this money more than I need a fancy wallet or case. I'm sorry, Miss Reed, but I'd like to return these for a refund. You haven't seen the last of me, careful man! There will always be a place for me in this world. A grand of 
villains can be sweet old ladies now? Since when did they stop looking like, you know, villains? In 1 Corinthians 16, Paul urges us to be alert, stand firm in the faith, and be strong. I'm so embarrassed that I wasn't alert or strong enough to realize what was happening to me. You weren't the only one who was deceived here today, Lila. The enemy can attack in almost any form. In 2 Corinthians 11, Paul also warns us that even Satan disguises himself as an angel of light. But when we seem to lose our way, the Word of God is our light, leading us back to Christ. Thanks, Bible man. Since I obviously can't return these for a refund anymore, I think I'm going to raffle these off and donate the proceeds to the fundraiser. That's very generous of you, Lila. And I'm sure your sister will be more than happy to help you. Bible man to cipher? Go ahead, Bible man. We're on our way back to Riverside Church. How soon can you get here with the slush Z machine? <laughs> <laughs> the Grand Duchess of Greed nearly deceived the entire Bible team by hiding in plain sight while using her greed dust on Lila. But even when all seemed lost, the convicting power of the Word of God exposed the Duchess for who she really is and broke her evil hold over Lila. <laughs>